said, come morning. Hope you wake up and hear these. <laughs> hurry, hurry. Thank you. I'm going crazy right now because I know, tell them that I'm going crazy right now because I know Sebastian is dying and being sacrificed. And I'm there. I'm trying to keep myself from losing it. But I can feel it, but I'm not as strong as it really is because it's like, because I'm, <laughs> it's so much. It's, you know, it's the pain because he's alive. He's still being raped and tortured and hung on a cross and his eyes cut out his tongue and his penis and he's eight months old. Eight months old to the day. I think to the day within the next it was within the somewhere it was the twenty first or twenty fifth. It was the end of November. I don't know if you can really I can't I forgot what the day it was. He was born oh my god, it was the eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth or twenty first or twenty fifth. See? These fucking drugs and I gotta get fucking cured. Um Tell everybody to pray and send that baby love, and even though he's dying and stuff, but just to let him know, tell the people to let him know that he's not dying alone. Let him feel their love. Let him feel it. Tell the people to let send Sebastian and send their love so they can feel them, so they know they're not alone and they're okay. Tell them. Oh, no, I totally had something important to say, and I totally forgot what it was. Oh, my God, hang on, wait. Um, oh, no, shit. Hang on. Um, uh, oh, I wanted you to tell everybody, Melissa. I wanted you to tell everybody. Um, oh, uh, um, um, it's okay. It has something to do with the seven plus one equals eight. That's who we're dealing with right now. That's the ones that Queen works for. The Queen is not as high as they are. They are the ones above. Believe it or not. And they were created out of the seven spirits, and then they became demons. And then uh, it's hard to explain what it had to do with the slaughter, the fossil grace and stuff. But um, these seven are good. They're, they're part of, <laughs> okay, the 12 judges and the seven are, like, part of God's creation, Homer, his creation. You know, the 12 tribes and the seven mermaids and the seven, you know, there's a counterpart, you know, for everything that which has been created through genetics and cloning, which they've known how to do forever, well, not forever, but for a long time. Well, be, actually, forever, because um, the vagina and the penis came later. <clears throat> but what we're dealing with now is seven plus one equals equals eight. Um, very sinister. Um, the 12, from what I understand, even though they keep, but see, they're still dragging and do the blood sex and whatever, but still, they're not with the seven. They're draking and pendarves. Drake, and I don't know where he is, if he's whatever, but Pendar told me that the only way he'll ever come out of me is through my womb. And, um, but I don't know, I mean, the drag race or whatever, but, um, uh, I need a plane ride. I need a plane ride. God, what was I going to say? I was going to say something to everybody. Um, um, it's just, they should be ashamed of themselves. Tell them, tell them that. Every, how many opportunities have they had to change or do something or make a difference? Especially the ones who have been listening to what I've been saying. They haven't done anything. Shame on you. Shame, 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 shame. Shame on you, Master Mason. Say that, too. And my name is Shame. But I'm going to make it right one way or another. I need to ride to Boho. I can get there an hour on a plane. I need somebody who has a plane to take me there. We can just save this sacrifice from happening. These are real fucking things. They're real, 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 real. They're not no fantasy land. This shit's real. And these children here are very special bloodline. And Troy's baby, he didn't realize that it was his baby being sacrificed. And I don't even think he was there. I don't think that he, he's not going to realize until tomorrow that, or whenever that, that was his baby. He didn't know because it was an ultra-conscious part of his memory. It, Illuminati, mind control, people, anybody that joins the secret society, they use mind control on the chip. And I've seen it firsthand. I mean, firsthand. I mean, I've seen it. The physical, my master Mason has slices on the bottom of his feet with these things protruding out of him, like a little something in there. And, and you know, get away from that dog poop. You don't smell the dog's dog poop. Go, move. Fucking my dogs. Okay, um, Oh my God! Look at the moon. It looks lopsided. Looks like it's gonna give birth. What it's gonna give birth to, we don't know. I hate you, but get a pen and paper. You're gonna to need to write all this down. And get deliver everything I'm telling you, all of it. Okay? You're gonna go down in history. 
And he uses, um, like, tell everybody again to look up the 1611 King James Bible in the very beginning, how they used to put the epilogue. And it all talks about the God gave Queen Elizabeth the power to reign and rule over the people. And then she died. And it was um, the King James Bible. And King James was Queen Mary's son. And Queen Mary was imprisoned and then beheaded. She was me. 